Before we start with the first leg series, let's have a look at the squat. Open your feet shoulder width, your toes are slightly looking to the side. Let's bend the legs for two and stretch them for two. Are you ready? Let's start the workout. Here we go. And up for two and down for two. Make sure to keep your weight on your heels to reduce the pressure in your knees. Your knees are looking parallel towards the big toes. Let's speed it up. Go down for one, up for one. So your hips are pushing back as if you would sit on an imaginary chair. Keep your spine in a neutral position, shoulders low, and keep your neck in one extension to the rest of the spine. Don't hyper extend your neck. Look diagonally down on the floor. Good. You got it? Good work. Hold it low. Let's pulse it out. Here we go. Today is all about the squats. So we're gonna train our front thigh muscles, our glutes, and the rest of the legs are working as well. So let's shift the weight onto the right leg. Let's come up onto the so-called passive position and go down on four. Try to find your balance here, engage your core. So we go three, two, one squat down. Three, two, beautiful. Now, when you're ready, extend the leg forward and go down into the squat again. So touch the inside of your knee with the big toe. Good. If you're ready, add the arms. First position, lift your arms back and lower. First, lift. So this is our first series here. Try to remember the first series. Passive, extend. Feel the power in your front thigh muscle here. Point your foot, so bring tension in all your five toes. Two more like this. Remember, don't forget. Let's have a look at the second series. So bring both thighs next to each other and go down on four. So hold for three, two, one, go down. Try to stick your heel towards your buttock to engage the muscles at the back of your leg. Let's add another movement, a side leg lift. Up. Here we're gonna activate the lateral thigh muscles, the so-called abductors, and a part of your lateral glutes. When you're ready, add your arms. Front, open elastic cart. So lift your leg parallel. It's not only a knee lift like this, so you lift the whole leg. Open your chest, so lift your sternum. Good work. Try to remember the second series. Are you ready? Let's combine the first series with the second. In four, in three. Let's go back to the first series. Passing, extend. Let's continue with the second series. That's it. First series, passing, extend. Let's move to the side. Keep your standing leg always slightly bent. Keep the tension in your front thigh muscles. Good, I hope you made it. <laughs> Last one, try to remember. Let's go into the third. So we move back, hold it here, and go back on four. Count with me. Three, two, one, squat. If you want more, let's lift the leg. Try to find your balance. Three, two, add a knee lift. So we go back, bring the knee in, extend the leg, and go back into the squat. Let's go, back. Knee, squat, back, knee. Good work, awesome. If it's too shaky for you, bring your toes back onto the ground. Ready for the arms? Lift them up. Ha. Let's go for a lateral crunch for activating your obliques. Try to touch your thigh with your elbow. Four more rounds to go. So we have one, two, go back into the squat on four. One, two, three, four. Ooh, legs are burning. Last one, try to remember. 
Last combi. Close your feet together. Together hold. Go back on four. Three, two, one. Very important. Close your feet completely. Roll your shoulders back and down. Engage your core. Engage your glutes. Now lift your heels off the floor. Come into the so-called roller V for activating the calf muscles. Keep your legs long in the roller V. And when you're ready, add the arms. Let's go. Front, up. Let's go. One, two, three. This is the last series for today. Super important here. Watch to press your heels together. Don't do this. Protect your outer ligaments with pressing the heels together. Are you ready? Let's bring the third and the fourth series together. So we go back. Here we go. Back, knee lift. Now close your feet together, lift your heels. Back leg lift, here we go. Ha. Close your feet together. Awesome, just two more rounds. Lift it. Ha. And bring the feet together. One more round. Don't move your lower back. Don't move your pelvis. Protect your lower back. Hold it in the squat. Hold for a second. Pulse it down. Prepare yourself for the whole combination. So we bring everything together. Remember the first series and the second? <laughs> Let's try it all together. In four, in three. Now come back into the passing. Passing forward. Let's move to the side. Woo! Bag leg lift without moving into the hollow back. Close your feet together. You got it? Let's try one more time. Pass it forward. Long leg to the side. Now we're moving to the back. Close your feet together, lift your heels. Good. Pass it, come on. One, two. Let's move to the side, both sides next to each other. Backwards. Close your feet. Give me one more round. Pass it. Touch the inside of your knee. Let's move to the side. If the arms are confusing for you, skip the arms. Back. Close your feet. Good. Hold in a squat. Pulse it. Active recovery here. So what's very important for you guys, keep your tension in your core. Don't move your spine. Stay controlled here. Protect your lower back. Come on, let's get a little bit lower. Weight is on your heels. Make sure that your knees are not pushing forward. Sit back on your imaginary chair. Let's start everything from the very beginning, but to the other side. Come up into the passive. Three, two, one, let's go down low. Three, two, one. Close your rib arches. Draw the navel in towards the spine. This will help you to find your balance. When you're ready, extend the leg forward. Passing, stretch. Good. Bring tension in your toes. Passing, extend. Add the arms. First. Lift. First, lift. Awesome. Half time is over. Let's go for four more rounds here. Three more. Shoulders low. Open your chest. Last one. Remember the first series. Let's go for the second. Bring both thighs next to each other. Go down on four. Come with me. Three, two, one. Go down low. Try to stick your heel towards your buttock for activating the muscles at the back of your leg. Let's add the side leg lift. One, two, three, four. Make sure to lift the whole leg, not only the knee, not only the heel. Good, add the arms when you're ready. 
first, second. You're doing a good job. Awesome. Feel the power in your front thigh muscles, in your lateral thigh muscles, in your lateral glutes. Four more. Woo! Three. Ready for the whole combination? So we combine the first series with the passe, with the second series, the side leg lift. Let's go forward. One, two, three. Both sides next to each other. Each other. Let's go down. Forward. Move to the side. Good. Forward. Two, three, to the side. Come on. Forward. Try to remember this series. Let's continue with the second. So we go back. Three, two, squat. Three, two, one. If you want more, lift the leg without opening your hip. So stay close, stay controlled. Add the knee lift. Let's go. Lift, bring the knee towards the chest. Let's go down. Hop. Yes. Awesome. Let's add the arms and the diagonal crunch. Here we go. Up, two, three, squat down. Hop. Up, two, three, four. I'll show you the movement from this side. Good. Length, lengthen your spine. Don't hyperextend the spine. Think more in length than in height with the leg. And up, crunch it. Try to touch the thigh with your elbow. Last combo of today. So close your feet together and let's go down on four. So three, two, one, go down. Think about your posture. So roll your shoulders back and down, engage your core. When you're ready, lift the heels. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Press the heels together. Remember? Ready to add your arms. Let's go. First, lift, lower and release. First, crack the nut with your buttocks and with your shoulder blades. So stay active in your mid and upper back muscles. Four more. Three more. Prepare yourself for the combination. So first, let's combine the third with the fourth series. Lift the leg. Now, close your feet together, lift your heels. Good. Backwards, knee lift. Close your feet together. One, two, three. To the back. One, two, three. Close your feet. One, two. Last round here. Oh. Close your feet. Hold it in the squat position. Pulse it down. Active recovery. Think about the perfect form. Long spine. Push your head backwards. Let's combine everything together. First, second, third, and fourth series. So we're going to work in the circle. Let's go. Passe. Let's move to the side. Almost done. Backwards, back leg lift, side crunch. Close your feet together, heel lift. Good, that's it. Repeat, forward, pass. Now to the side, side leg lift, strong core. Now to the back, back leg lift, diagonal crunch. Close your feet together, heel lift. Good work, two more rounds and then it's done. Come on, forward. Now to the side. Activate your lateral glutes to the back. Close your feet together. Now, the last round. Here we go. Passe. One, two, three, four. To the side. Backwards. 
and close your feet together. Hold it in the relevant position. Hold here, feel the power in your lower body. Strong core, shoulders low, relax, shake it out. Awesome work, guys. Now, if you still have some energy left for your core and your abdominal muscles, check out my latest core and abs workout over here. Woo, good work.